Hey, Boomer here in Princess. Uh, we have had questions about our trailer, uh, how we pack the trailer, and we get a lot of stuff in the trailer. Some things that really, if you don't have a trailer, if you just motorcycle camping on your own, you're not going to be able to take some of the stuff that we do. But I guess we are as close to glamping as you can uh, without actually glamping, even though we have been there. I guess if you take a fan with you camping, it's kind of glamping. But anyway, I thought we would show you today what we take when we camp and how we pack the trailer. So let me swing around, don't get dizzy. Tell you just a little bit about our trailer here. Now I just watched another YouTuber that I really like, Craig Ripley, uh, living off the slab. He just bought a trailer, uh, it was a Bush Tech, and he paid, according to his video, over $5,000 for that trailer, and I'm sure it was worth every penny of it. But for those of us who don't have $5,000 to drop on a trailer, let me tell you what Princess and I did. I found this trailer for $250. Now, it is nothing really more than uh, one of the car top carriers that has kind of been converted, and it's put on a frame and an axle that you can get from Harbor Freight. And that's really all it is. Now, the one thing that I intend to do at some point is to change the tire axle combo because right now I'm speed limited. 55, 60 miles an hour is about the best I would do with this trailer. One, the speed rating on the tires. And secondly, the bearings. Uh, you don't want the bearings to heat up too much going too fast. So if you put larger tires on there, that will take care of that. But really, for $250, the only thing I had to do was rewire it because the uh, wiring, if I can come up here and show you, the wiring right here comes up through the tongue. And where the previous owner had this trailer sitting, rodents got in there and chewed the wiring. So I had to replace all of the wiring and it runs up through the tongue under the trailer, under this here, and comes up the side and then goes to all of the lights here on the back. Now as to what we take when we camping, we have it all laid out here and I know it looks like a lot, and maybe it is. And you'll never get all of this on just your motorcycle if you're just going motorcycle camping. But if I can kind of go through it, here we have our chairs, our folding chairs. Now I know you can get much smaller chairs. I know that. But we like these chairs. Uh, they're good sized, especially back when I was bigger. I used to weigh 250. Uh, my biggest I was 265. I like the bigger chair. It's got arms. Uh, it's got cup holders in the chair. I think Princess has a pocket in hers. I might in mine as well. But we like the bigger chairs. So we sacrifice a little room for that. We have our sleeping bags. I know you can get smaller sleeping bags. But we like these sleeping bags. We're comfortable in these sleeping bags. And what Princess and I, neither one of us don't like, is that a double negative? Neither one of us like the mummy bags. I'm just not comfortable in a mummy bag. I like a little bit of room to move around. And typically what we do is we will take her sleeping bag, which has a kind of like a quilted lining, put that on the bottom, and we'll open mine up and put that on top of us. We have our cooler. That so far works really well. The only thing I consider doing is what I saw, I believe it was Rich from uh, Two Wheels Big Life, is drill into the top and in inject some of that expanding foam to help it insulate better. I don't know if we need that or not, uh, but that is something we can do. Uh, this is the second cooler that we've had. The first one, I think, was the Ozark Trail, was the nylon cooler. Uh, it worked okay. This one seems to work a little bit better. I know you can go out and spend a couple of hundred dollars and get a Yeti. Uh, we're not there yet, but there's that. Uh, of course, we have the tent. You remember the big red tent that we love, and I prefer that tent. Again, I know that there are smaller tents that you can get. We're sacrificing some space and maybe a little bit of weight, but the return is comfort. I like to be able to stand up in a tent, move around in a tent. I don't want to have to crawl on my knees or crawl over somebody to get out of the tent. 
And with this tent here, we do not have to do that. Of course, our extension cord, 100 foot extension cord. Uh, we camp in a state park or somewhere that has electricity, we're all set. Uh, the pop-up, now as you remember, the pop-up does not fit inside the trailer. Thus the platform that I built right there. And we'll show you that in a second. Then we have some bags here, and this dark blue bag is all of our kind of electronics, our uh, power strip, uh, our DVD player, because we like to watch movies now and again. Uh, what's in this bag here, sweetheart, the light blue one? What is it? Kitchen stuff. kitchen stuff? That's kitchen stuff in there. Uh, of course, we have our two quilts. We have this one in here and this one. One goes on the bottom underneath of the air mattress and one on the top, on top of the sleeping bag. So we're very warm, very comfortable if we even need all of that. The uh, rain fly that goes over top of the tent. This is our tail bag. And that we put, let me show you where we put that. That goes here on the top case just like so and we strap that down with these like so and in here we keep just miscellaneous stuff all of our charging cords and uh, what's that maps. maps and just things that you know we can get to very quickly I think we even put our chaps in there once um, you know, when it was a little bit chilly outside and we put our chaps in there. So that is the tail bag goes on there. Coming back down, this is our queen size air mattress. It folds down really small. Uh, that is our shower bag, right? No. That was a shower bag. That's the shower bag right there. That has our shampoo, our soap, our toothbrushes, underarm deodorant, so forth and so on. And what's that one? This first aid batteries. Oh, first aid kit, batteries, flashlights, things like that. And then that's our sink. Oh, this is our sink right here. And what's in there? Tablecloth, dish soap. Tablecloth, dish soap, some cups, things like that. Okay, and uh, of course our Coleman two burner propane stove right here. And this, believe it or not, is a hamper that folds down. So this is all of the stuff that we take camping. Let me show you how we pack it. So with all of this stuff, this is how we pack the cooler. Now something that we have to keep in mind is balance in the trailer. You want the weight pretty much centered over the axle. The rule of thumb is 10 to 15% of the total weight of the loaded trailer on the tongue. Now we know that this trailer weighs 175 pounds because when we went to get a uh, license plate for it, we had to know that. So we took it up to a weigh station and had it weighed. I'm figuring we maybe have 200 pounds of gear. So just to make it easy, we're gonna say loaded, this trailer's about 400 pounds, which means you only want 40 to 50 pounds of tongue weight, 10 to 15% of the total weight of the trailer. Right? And that's the, the formula that I was taught. So here's how we do it. The heaviest thing that I'm going to put in this trailer is this tent. So I'm going to try and keep this over the axle. So I'm going to have to move it forward a little bit. You'll see why in a second. So there is the tent. The next one I'm going to do is grab our chairs. And they're going to go right along the side. Both chairs are in. And next thing I'm going to do is the cooler. Now the cooler is going to be probably about as heavy as the tent, close to it, because it's going to be filled with ice and food, a lot of food. So that's going to go right here. Now we have to move it forward a little bit and center the weight of these two over the axle. Okay, right like so. And the next thing I'm going to put in is the Coleman stove. This is going to go right here on the back side. Then we're going to put in our sleeping bags. It's going to go right up here. Actually, this one goes up here. It's just a little smaller. And like right in here. And that'll squish down. Okay, same thing. Uh, let's see. Next. Extension cord. Right here on top of the tent. Again, trying to keep a lot of the weight right over the axle because the center line of the axle 
is right here, and I've got the cooler on one half, the tent on the other. So we pretty much split the weight over that axle. Then we have our little kitchen thing, which is going to stick right in here. And it's just like putting together a little puzzle. Uh, then we have our propane canister and what is this? Batteries, Batteries flashlights, I think the first pump. aid. First aid. Where's the pump for the air mattress? And with the um, videos. Oh, with the videos and stuff. Okay, gotcha. So I'm going to set this. Bug spray. In here and bug spray. Yep, got to have <laughs> bug spray. All natural bug spray. I yep. don't, for me, I don't want to go putting chemicals all over the largest organ in my body, which is my skin. We use all natural stuff. Now our shower bag is next. Really, you can put it anywhere. This one right here, again, this is our DVD player, a couple of DVDs. We like uh, Wild Hogs, A Knight's Tale. We take Real Steel. That's another one we like. I'm going to move this up here and set this right here. doesn't matter. We just want to get it in like so. And that's it. believe it or not, that's it. That's all that goes into this trailer. And it's ready to close down. Now you'll notice I said that's all that goes in to the trailer. All right, so we're probably going to have to finagle it a little bit to get it shut. Move stuff around. But it should shut. See the sleeping bag and run around. But there we go. She will shut like that. Now, remember I told you that we're trying to balance out the weight in the trailer? One important consideration, sweetheart, if you want to come around to the front here, is this, our pop-up, that we have to have. We have to have the pop-up. Now, remember, in other videos, I told you that normally on the tongue here, we, it goes the cooler. But this is too long to fit inside of the trailer. So we put the cooler inside of the trailer, and now this pop-up, it's a 10 by 10. We also have a 12 by 12. We save a little space with the 10 by 10, still get our pop-up. It goes right there. Then we take bungees, and I have a lot of bungees, but I have under here these rings that I put. I'm going to slide that, center it, and we use this just to strap it in. Put a bunch of bungees. She's in there solid. And it's no wider than the trailer is wheel well to wheel well. This goes here. Now the last place, no, not the last place, one of the last things that we do is going to back up sweetheart over here. Is all of this stuff here and not our pillows. So those are things that we're missing, like our bed pillows. All right, we have to, we don't, I don't like the inflatable ones, I'm sorry. But we have our bed pillows we take. So let me move all this here and I'll show you what we do with this. Because this stuff here doesn't weigh anything, really. So I'll move all of this stuff and show you what we do. There is a reason that we have these two rings on top of the trailer. This is why. This is our ground tarp. It goes under our tent. Dual purpose now. So I'm going to slide this on top of the trailer, like so. All right. Now what we do is we take all of the light stuff, air mattress, right there. And then we can usually put our pillows on either side. Our blankets, our quilts, go on here. Our rain fly. And I have even put uh, our uh, summer or winter jackets on top of here because they're light. And all this is a little compressible. So once we have that done,
won't get wet. Bungees, and we use them. So we take the bungees and using the D rings, we strap everything down. And all that goes on top of the trailer. And again, all the weight is pretty much centered over the axle, and we keep about 40 45 pounds of ton weight on the ton. The trailer pulls fine. I've never had an issue pulling this trailer fully loaded, but that's how we load that. Now you may have noticed this over here. As Princess said, it's a kitchen. The kitchen, and we've got some other things in there, but that goes in the top case. So we put that container in the top case. Then in each one of the side cases goes our clothing, our bath towels, things like that, our personal items. They all go into the side case. So kitchen, we can even get some food items in here if we need to. And of course we have our top case, uh, or our tail bag on our top case. We can put some extra stuff as well. So anyway, there you have it. That's how we load the trailer, and it works. We did not spend $5,000 on a trailer, though I don't begrudge anyone who does. Uh, I'm sure they're great, but this works for us. And the only drawback, which I can fix for a couple of hundred bucks at Tractor Supply or Family Farm and Fleet, is that what it's called, is to get a heavier duty axle with bigger tires, a couple hundred bucks and I'm all set hit the road at highway speeds. But for right now, the local campgrounds we go to in Michigan, uh, for example, uh, last year for our 40th anniversary, we started at Holly Recreation Area, which driving time is about 40 minutes away from where we live. And then from Holly Recreation Area, we went to Bay City State Park, which is I'm going to say it was almost an hour and 45 minutes. It was 90 some miles, as I recall. And we pulled the trailer for that as well. No problems whatsoever. And from there, we went to Sleepy Hollow, which is out west past Lanesburg. And I'm going to say that was close to a two hour trip pulling the trailer. Again, we have never had an issue pulling the trailer. I've hit speeds of 55, even 60 at times and the trailer pulls fine. And most of the time you have to look in the mirror because you don't even know it's back there. That's how nice it pulls. But then again, we're pulling it with a gold wing. What can I say? An old wing, we call it. So love camping, love motorcycle camping. So let's combine everything, motorcycle camping, the gold wing, and that, my friends, is how we do it. So until next time, uh, what, what I usually say, life is not meant to be walk through it's meant to be experienced and the camping the motorcycling and spending time with princess mrs boomer that's all the experiencing life for us so anyway take care for now and until next time hope this helped talk soon hey jumping in here real quick one thing that princess reminded me that i forgot was our water jug two and a half gallon jug uh, that we strap there on top of the pop-up canopy. Uh, we don't have it filled because most of the time when we get to the campsite, they have water. But that's where that goes, and I forgot to mention that. Okay, there you go.